Hey YouTube, what's going on? Um, I was watching another YouTube creator's account the other day, uh, Buff Dudes. It's, I guess it's two brothers and a dad. And their mom runs their merch and stuff for them. But they they have some interesting sponsors sometimes. They'll have like this super expensive cereal that's, you know, low carb, high protein or whatever. And I'd love to try it, but it's fantastically expensive. Uh, then this week, their sponsor was Olipop. And grab yourself a crisp, refreshing Olipop. So, first I'll say if you go on their website, this stuff comes out to like $3 a can shipped. And that's a lot for a, a tonic water or soda. Uh, sparkling tonic is what they call it. It's unique because, at least it's unique as far as I know, um, it's a prebiotic, you know, it's got botanicals and plant fiber. It's not joking about the plant fiber. What I found interesting was in this can of orange squeeze, which I'm about to try for the first time, it contains 45 calories, but nine grams of fiber, uh, five grams of sugars, and then zero grams of protein. It's 160% of your daily vitamin C in a can of this. Now, my wife and I found this at Fresh Time yesterday. Uh, you can go on Olipop's website. This isn't sponsored or anything. I've just decided when I try something unique, uh, I'll share it with you guys. So you don't have to waste your money or so you can be like, well, hey, he liked it. So maybe I will. Like with the solo stove, which I haven't done another fire with yet. Uh, I was going to this weekend, but yesterday we got a lot of rain, snow, rain, snow, rain, snow, and it's snowing right now. So I didn't get around to that, but let's uh, let's check this can out. Uh, again, I found it on the Buff Dudes. It was one of their sponsors. They're not sponsoring me. I'm nobody, as you can tell by my subscriber count and the three of you that are watching this. But it claims to support digestive and immune health. You know, whatever. But it's plant-powered and microbiome approved. I'm not sure what the certifying body for that is. And, you know, they make the proud claim that it's non-GMO. I don't care if something's genetically modified in a lab within reason um, before it's introduced into the wild. And I don't think eating GMO crops is necessarily bad. It might kind of reduce the fiber and up like the carbohydrates with, you know, things like corn or whatever, where they're trying to get the most bang for the buck. But I think some things are important, like genetically modified rice, if we could get it to grow in different conditions and, uh, you know, we could, we could really go a long way with world hunger and you could get it to synthesize vitamins and stuff inside it while it's growing. So that's cool. So I don't really care about the non-GMO part of it, but it's an interesting thing. So the ingredients in this can, uh, they have several different flavors and they're all a little different. Um, I know the cola one contains caffeine. This does not. The cola one gets its caffeine from um, green tea extract. This one though, however, is carbonated water and then Ollie Smart which is cassava root fiber, chicory root, inulin, Jerusalem artichoke inulin, uh, nopal cactus, calendula flower, kudzu root. Hey, uh, beneficial use for kudzu. Uh, really bad invasive species. Uh, marshmallow root, slippery elm bark. That's all in there, Ollie Smart. And then you have lemon juice, apple juice concentrate, mandarin juice concentrate, cassava root syrup, Clementine juice concentrate, rose hip, uh, acerola cherry, A C E R O L A, acerola cherry, stevia leaf for the sweetness, Himalayan pink salt. It does have, you know, 35 milligrams of sodium, which is kind of on par with regular soda. And then natural orange flavor extract. It appears to be manufactured for Olipop in Oakland, California. It doesn't say where. It wouldn't surprise me if it's regional. Um, one thing that is interesting is the can here. It's not printed on the aluminum. It's definitely some kind of plastic wrap on just a bare aluminum can. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's gluten-free. It's vegan-friendly. It's paleo-friendly. But that's why you're paying $2.65, $2.70. I think we paid it fresh time. And they only had three different kinds and a couple of cans each. I imagine it's not a super high volume sales product for them. But it does sound like they're kind of new too. So, you know, let's try it. Um, my wife wanted to try it off camera. So we're going to pour this in a glass. Ooh. 
Ooh, nice hiss. Steve would approve. MRE Steve, check him out. Mm. Well, right away. Right away, it smells like McDonald's uh, orange juice. I don't know if they still have it, but if you're a child of the 80s or 90s, you'll remember it. It, it was kind of pulpy and had a very distinct orange juice taste. So, I mean, we're definitely carbonated. You know, it's a, it's a soda. It just looks like any number of energy drinks or something, but there's no, no stimulants in this. So let's give it a taste. Kind of tastes like Sprite. Yeah, it has a decidedly Sprite taste. I like that. Uh, at two fifty to three dollars a can, I'm not gonna rush out and get it, but I may actually order some more of this just to have a treat. Um, I've had two Diet Cokes this year. It's January thirtieth or thirty first when I'm recording this. Um, prior to that, I was doing two or three Diet Cokes a day. And when I ran out at the end of December, I just decided not to buy any more. Um, got a couple, you know, at the gas station or whatever when we were out and about and I wanted something to drink. But yeah, that's that's pretty good. Um, I really should have prepared better and had a list of the flavors. They do have a root beer one I'd like to try, assuming it's uh, not caffeinated like Barks and some root beers are. I, I doubt it is, but I'm just trying to stay away from the caffeine. It's uh, It's been surprisingly easy. I used to be a very heavy coffee drinker back in the day. And, you know, I would drink a pot, pot and a half of coffee a day. And then I switched to Diet Coke. And now that I've given it up, I find generally I don't need it anymore. Uh, I miss the taste of the Diet Coke, which is what interested me about these. But, yeah, I was never a big fan of Sprite, but I would drink it sometimes. Uh, I'm sure you've all had Sprite when you were sick to the stomach, you know. Mother's wisdom and all that, but it's it's not exactly Sprite. It's it um it's kind of like Sprite if it was watered down a little. I, that's not fair because it doesn't taste bad. It just tastes light, I guess. But yeah. Uh, Probably want to go on their website and order a case of it. You have to order like a whole a whole bunch of it and the shipping makes it expensive. Plus it's winter, so coming to me would probably freeze. But go to their website. It's just uh, olipop.com, I think. Uh, I'll have the link in the doobly-doo. Again, not sponsored. Uh, if they'd like to send me some, I'd gladly take it to try the other flavors. But I'm nobody, so I doubt that's going to happen. But yeah, look up, see if they have it in a store near you and just try it. It could be a, a nice little treat every now and then. Uh, I might drink one or two of these a week. Some of the other flavors sounded interesting. I believe they had a strawberry vanilla or cherry vanilla. I wish they had like a vanilla cola without caffeine that I can get behind. But yeah, I'm going to look for more of these. Uh, sorry for, you know, not doing a fancy video today. I'm just kind of, it's winter. Don't really have a lot of great ideas. Just going to try stuff, share it with you. My wife and I have been doing plant-based uh, whole food, plant-based for a while. Um, we're going to probably share some of that with you as uh, as we try it. Why not? And uh, yeah, I'm going to stop rambling now. This has probably gone on for like 19 minutes or something. And I intended to it to be a 45 second video. So cheers. Um, like, comment, subscribe, dislike. Check out the Patreon so I can get more weird stuff like this. Uh, tell me you hate my guts. That's been Ryan Mercer. Uh, you guys have a nice one.